Okay, fifth grade lesson 98, and this is on negative numbers. All right, I want you to draw a scale on your paper. Oh, yeah, just like this. Scales. Okay. Okay. What does this mean when the arrows point to the right and to the left? It means it's a, it's a, uh, not a ray. Right, it's, it's a line. A, and that called, means, it's okay. a line. And it means that it, it keeps going on and on and on and on and on. Yeah. And this keeps going on and on and on and on and on. Okay? But we're not going to write all the numbers that keep going on because that could be forever. Okay? So, in your middle, I want you to put a zero. Okay. Okay? Now, um, I'm going to put a few tick marks four. on both sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay. The ones on the right side, do you know what they're called? Right. Positive numbers. Okay. So I'm going to write the word positive. Okay. Positive. And the words on the left of the zero are called? In positive. Negative. Good try. <laughs> negative numbers. Negative. Okay, so let's write our positive numbers. Starting with zero, we'll go one, two, three, four. Now on the left side, you still start at zero and you're going backwards, so we're going negative one, negative two, negative three, and negative four. Okay. Okay, you got it? Now, um, if I were to say point, let's do this, point A. Where is it located? It's no, located at negative three. Very good. Point B is located at positive two. Very good. And if I asked you which one is bigger, what would you tell me? B. B is. Okay. So the farther I go to the right, the bigger the number gets. Mm -hmm. The farther I go to the left, the smaller the number gets. So even um, here's negative 5. Is negative 3 or negative 5 bigger? Negative 3. <laughs> yes, isn't that confusing? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So the farther I go this way, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and the bigger and bigger and bigger. So negative 3 would be bigger than negative 5. Okay? Now, let's do, um, I'm going to draw another scale. And this is going to be something that you've probably seen when you're doing science or something like that. It's a thermometer. So let's do a thermometer. Okay, it's beautiful. All right, now. Mom, there's a lump on the left side. I know. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, let's just draw a, a square. Okay, there. or a rectangle. Now, what I want you to see is, is this is zero degrees do I draw this too? Celsius. No, you can just watch. Okay? Now, if I go, I'm going to, instead of putting a bunch of ticks, I'm just going to go up 10 degrees each time. Okay. 10 degrees Celsius. Okay? See that? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to go 10 degrees under zero, and what would that be? Negative one. Negative one. 10. What? I'm going 10 degrees under. Oh, I thought... I went 10 okay. degrees above... Okay. Now I'm going 10 degrees under. You see? Yeah. If I go 10 more degrees under, it would be 20. Negative 20 degrees Celsius. That'd okay. be cold. And then let's just put this as our ending point. All right. Now, they filled up this, Eli. Okay. All the way to right there. That. Now, now they did put... These little ticks, and I'm going to put them in red so we can see them better. Okay. Okay. So let's figure out how much each tick is worth. Okay, these are the big ticks. Okay. So let's start from zero and go to ten. How much is each of these ticks worth? Four. Okay, so four plus four more is eight. Oh, no. Okay. I think it'd be two. Okay. Two, four, four six, six, eight, eight ten. ten. 
So what's that tell you? There's that each of them, tick. each tick is two degrees. Okay, so now let's look at this. And this is from zero to negative 10. Negative one, two. Oh, what? Remember, two degrees oh, each tick. Okay. Negative, negative two, four. negative four, negative six, negative, negative eight, eight, negative ten, negative, uh, what do you mean? Oh, negative uh, eleven. Whoops. Twelve? Twelve, because each tick is two. It's confusing. I know. So that's negative twelve degrees is what it went up to. Okay, so if I asked you what degrees does this thermometer show, mm -hmm. you would tell me negative twelve degrees. Okay. okay? Got it? You see how we did that? Yep. All right. Now, last thing, and I'm going to draw the same scale I drew at the beginning. Okay? So if you want to draw another one, you can. Okay. I'm going to put a zero in the middle. I'm going to put a five here and a ten here. Negative five here, negative ten here. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. It probably won't work on that that kind of paper with what way I'm doing it this time. Okay. Okay, so if you just want to watch, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Now, we'll make these a little bit bigger so we can see them better. Okay. Those are our, our all of our ticks, and I want you to find point A is located on what? Point A is located on negative three, right? Right, yeah. Negative five, negative set ten. Oh, I mean uh, negative... Eight. Close. Seven. Five. Seven. Six. Seven. So A equals negative seven. All right, let's try B. Point A was negative seven. What is B? Uh, B would be negative three. Very good. Excellent job. What would C be? C would be positive eight excellent job all right you just learned all the different scales okay now let's do last thing okay we're going to be working with money and this won't take long at all okay if i was working with money eli i want you to show me that when i say the word in debt this word right here debt means I'm under, means I spent more money than I had, okay? Okay, and if I tell you that I'm in debt $200, that means... You have to pay them back $200. I need to pay them back $200 to get to just to zero. So if we were looking at this on a thermometer scale, I just want you to see, let's say I had $0 right there, okay? And if I went in debt... Okay. I would go under $200. And just to get me back to even, I need to pay the bank back $200 to get me back to zero. Okay. You see? So if I were to say to you, use a negative number to indicate, indicate a debt of $200. You're going to say that. Indicate a negative number that shows that I'm in debt $200. You would show me that. Okay. okay? So, and then if you pay back $400, you have $200. Then I would have a positive $200 left. Good job. Okay, that's lesson 98.